stabbing today at a Queens High School and at least two teenagers facing charges tonight. The CBS2 investigative team has been looking into violence in schools has uncovered some un uh, troubling trends here. According to data from the NYPD and Chalkbeat, there were more than 1,600 knives found in city schools in the 2018-19 school year. Last year, that number jumped to more than 2,800. CBS2's Ali Bauman has more now on the rise in weapons in class. Students were dismissed Thursday from Martin Van Buren High School in Queens Village after going on lockdown when police say two teenage students were stabbed during classes. I saw the guy coming out in a stretcher and he was like sitting down with his shoulder patched up. Both victims are expected to survive and are being treated at the hospital. Police took three students into custody and charged at least one with criminal possession of a weapon. Everyone was like terrified. It was a traumatic experience. Police sources tell us that investigators not only found a knife at the scene, but they also found a loaded handgun on one of the victims. This is one of at least 12 stabbings in New York City schools since the summer, says the NYPD, up from seven the year prior. And data from the school safety officers union shows a stark rise in the number of weapons found on students. Of the 10 most dangerous schools in New York, which does not include Martin Van Buren High, officers took 422 weapons off students since July. That's up from 157 the previous year, a 169% increase. What's behind that? It's the lack of, right? The lack of knowing and having the skills to be able to mediate conflict. Kamara Jackson runs a violence prevention program at dozens of city schools. The transition from home to school for many of our young people are not safe. They're afraid. And then when you get in this building, if you are approached by conflict, our students may not have the tools needed to mediate that safely. The Department of Education says principals meet with the NYPD monthly to discuss school safety. And after what happened at Martin Van Buren High, they will provide extra emotional support to students. In Queens Village, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.